Okay, welcome to episode or lesson 4 of my physics, physics tutorial. So today we are going to be studying on the topic of vector subtraction. Now, last week we have done addition in, I mean last episode we've done vector addition in one dimension and two dimensions. And today we are going to be talking about vector subtraction and it's actually really, really easy. It's basically vector addition, but just one slight um, one slight change to it. So let's say we are given two vectors right here. We're given vector A and vector B and I've already provided for you the magnitude and the direction for each. So vector A is three kilometers up, vector B is one kilometer right. So how do we subtract vectors? Okay, first of all I'm going to start off by putting this back in here. Now this is our rule for addition and we're going to be talking about this later on. So we know that for addition, we are going. What we do is just place the tip of the tail of one vector onto the head of the other vector, and keep this in mind. Keep this in mind while we're doing this. So, what is? What if I gave you a problem? What if I wanted to subtract vector A from vector B? How would I do this? Well, what is subtraction really? What is this the same as? There are three methods um, of subtracting, and the first method is the easiest and is the one that I'll be using. Um, the first method is called, um, it's not really called anything, but just for the sake of giving a name, I'm going to call it um, the subtraction um, to, to addition method. And this, this name, and you'll probably see why I chose this name. So. Um, what this method does, so this method manipulates subtraction in, in, in what way? So what is subtraction really? When I say b minus a, what is it the same as? It is the exact same as if you did b plus negative a, right? I mean, b plus negative a is the exact same as b minus a because you take out the brackets and the plus and minus cancel out. I mean, plus and minus becomes a minus. So b plus mi negative a is same as b minus a. So these two, we can c conclude that these two equations are, are the exact same. And I just need to draw the vector sim symbols. Okay. Okay. So the, we know that these two are exactly the same. So now we've converted a subtraction. Um, a vector subtraction problem into a vector addition problem. Okay, so now this makes it easier. So now we can use this rule for addition. So, we have vector b, and we're adding a vector of negative a. But what is negative a? I mean, we have a, but what's ne negative a? The negative sign, um, what does ne negative sign mean in math? It just means the opposite, right? Like if something is positive, the opposite of it would be negative. Let's say I have um, a number of 3. Negative 3 is just the opposite of it. So, same case with vectors. If um, if a, if vector a is 3 kilometers up, what would vector negative a be? It would be 3 kilometers, it would have a uh, of, it would be negative 3 kilometers up. Remember, this deduction is important. But what is negative three kilometers up? So you, you're saying that the arrow is pointing up, but it's pointing in a negative direction. That doesn't make make sense. So in order to change this, we want to write negative a is equal to, and we and we don't really like um, our magnitudes to be negative. So we want to put it positive. But if it's positive, the direction cannot be up anymore because we know that negative a is pointing in the opposite direction. So what is the opposite of up? It's down. And there we go. So we found out now that the vector negative a is basically the same as vector a, but just pointing in the opposite direction because it has the opposite sign. And I'm just going to ignore the vector heads for now. But I'm sure you, I mean, we have tons of vectors with vector heads by now. And I'm sure that you can forgive me for just this slight laziness on my part. I've just, I'm just too lazy to draw the vector hats. Anyway, so since vector A is pointing up and it's positive, the negative, negative A, negative vector A is basically the same 
same magnitude by just point same direction by just pointing in the opposite direction. So three kilometers, not up, but the opposite of up, which is down. So what is B plus minus A now? So let's draw this um this arrow. I'm just gonna use this. So since we know that A is three kilometers and so that means B must be at the exact same length. So, so I'm gonna try to draw the exact same length. Okay, approximately like that. Oh man. Okay, approximately. And then we have the arrowhead pointing down now because now it's in the negative direction. It's the opposite of factor A. So we know that negative A is this. So what is B plus negative A? We just use our rule for addition, which is placing um, one, the tail of one vector, which is this on top of the head of the other vector. So like that. And then just like last time, we draw our resultant from the start to the end. And we draw the two arrowheads representing that this is a resultant vector. And there we go. And now let's solve this question. Now let's just, I'm just gonna put this here. So we know that this is vector B and this is vector A. So how did we solve this last time? How did we solve this? We just did um, Pythagoras to find the length and trigonometry to find the angle. So let's find the length first. So B minus, oh, it's in red. So B minus A equals to B minus A equals to the square root of, okay, I'm just gonna write, I'm just gonna use this as C squared. So C, um, A squared, let's just, I'm just gonna write the whole thing again, just so that people will be, it'll be clearer what I am saying. So A squared plus B squared plus C squared is our normal Pythagoras. And then we know that A squared is three. So remember it's not negative three because we're just talking talking about the length, not the direction, because the direction is already accounted for in the diagram. So we don't need to put negative three, we just put three. Well, actually it doesn't really matter because we're squaring it anyway. So regardless of, of if you put three and negative three, it should be positive. So it doesn't matter really. So three squared plus B squared, which is one squared equals C squared. So therefore three squared is nine plus one. So it's 10. So 10 equals C squared. Oh, this is a pretty number. Dang. And so that means C equals and I'll need a calculator for this. It's about three point something. Hold on, ten root three point one six. So about three point two. Three point two. Okay, so we know that so therefore therefore and I and I can put a good dot 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 for therefore, but whatever whatever. So we know that therefore B minus A equals well vector B minus vector A not not too confused with this B and minus A on B and A on top. B minus A equals three point two. And just to clarify that, I'm going to draw the vector arrow so that you guys won't be confused with this A and B at the top. So vector B, oh, whoops, that's not a line. So vector B and vector A equals 3.2. And let's drag it down here. So vector B and vector A equals 3.2. Oh, I almost forgot. Kilometers. Kilometers. But what direction? Now, we use the same thing as last time. We use trigonometry to find the angle. And remember at the very end of the video, I told you guys that the angle is actually the angle that is at the tail of the resultant vector, not at the head or anywhere else, just the angle at the tail. So that would be this angle right here at the tail. So what is angle? Let's use trigonometry. And so we use 10 again, once again, because we want to use the numbers that were given to us in the question. 10 theta equals to, and 10 is opposite over adjacent, so it's 3 over 1. And therefore, t equals, and use a calculator, so 3 over 1 is 3, and inverse 10 of that. And we get an angle of about 71.6, 71.6 degrees. And it looks about right, because it's about 71.6 degrees. Okay, so now we can find out, can we write out our answer. So. What is B plus A again? Oops. 
So let's copy this. Okay, so what's B plus A? We know what B plus A is now. B plus A equals 3.2 kilometers as said over here. That's what we calculated in our Pythagoras. So 3.2 kilometers and in what direction? Well, starting from the right, it's pointing right. So right and then from the right moving 71.6 degrees down. So 71.6 degrees down, close brackets. And there is our answer. Let me try. There's our answer. Oh man, this is going to annoy me. It's not perfectly aligned. There we go. So therefore, this is our answer. So that's basically, that's factor subtraction in a nutshell. It's the same thing as addition, just that you have to invert the the direction of one of the vectors. So it's if, if it's b minus a, you invert a. If it's a minus b, you invert b. And then just treat it as a normal vector addition problem. So that this is the simplest way of, of doing vector subtraction. Um the other way I'm not sure if you I, I'm not sure if I want you guys to use it because um it's not it's not as intuitive because this makes sense because b minus a is same as b plus negative a and it makes sense and this all works out. If you want to look for other methods, um, it's called a tail to tail method and I'm not going to teach it here because I don't really recommend it. It's not that efficient and I think you'll get it wrong sometimes while using it. So use this method. This is the only method that I'll be advocating in my tutorials and I'll be using it frequently. So use this method. And that's all for this episode. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.